All right, today is a little bit about ankle sprains and trying to increase your mobility if you've had an ankle sprain, whether it be old or whether it be acute. These are about six exercises I want you to do to try and improve that. And they're mostly mobility. Um, this is focusing on getting that range better, getting that movement better rather than the strength. The strength is another exercise. So for this one, most people who've sprained their ankle, they lose their dorsiflexion and they also lose their inversion, okay? So if you've had a classic ankle sprain where you sprain the ligaments in the front and the side, sprain meaning a tear, um, you'll lose all that movement because it really tightens up and you can get some tightening through the tissues and the ligament and the capsule when you start healing. So if you lose that range, it becomes a bit of a dysfunctional ankle. So here we go. What I like people doing is working on getting also the muscles released as well as the ankle. So foam roller, I'd go for first up. And what you're trying to do is release your tibialis anterior. So into this position, just a little bit of weight through it. Don't go too hardcore because it might be a bit sore. You're trying to pancake that muscle really release it by rolling through and getting some body weight on it, okay? So right in the front of the shin, on the outside of the shin where the muscle is, that's your tibialis anterior. If you can get in there and foam roll that and loosen that up, okay, that'll make a huge difference to down at the ankle because guess what? That muscle runs through into there, okay? And if you've sprained your ankle, it's gonna be tight in that position, okay? So it's gonna really get tight through here. So I wanna loosen all that up, which will allow you more moving that way, okay? So if we can get that looser, that'll be great. The other one I want you to work on is your perineals, okay? So think of Tibant, like if you can get that, it'll get you more that movement, your perineals will give you more that movement. So, if you go into here, and what I like doing is getting right on the side, okay? Right on the side of that, and try and get some then up onto the body weight and just pummel through there, okay? Now that's maybe all you need is to try and just release that off. Other people, if they want to go a little bit more, get up and straight onto there. But that might be too much for you. We'll see. But into that position there, if you can tolerate that, the other thing you can do is start moving your ankle around. Okay, so as you're doing it, start getting that ankle moving, and that'll also help a little bit more with your mobility, okay? So it's not just about joint, we also want to work on the muscles that affect the joint. So that's why I want to do that one first. Like the third one, once you've worked on your tibialis anterior, that'll help you with a little bit more plantar flexion. So we're going to capitalize on that and push it more into plantar flexion. So this is where you can use a child's pose that you usually use for your lower back and your hips for your ankle. So you can get into here, go into your plantar flexion, and you can start pushing down and sitting back into like a child's pose. And there might be a point where you go, oh, I don't want to go any further, where you're stretching that tissue out. Just make sure you're not going to jam the back of the capsule because with ankle sprains, sometimes the tightness in the front alters your mechanics. So when you go into that movement there, you don't get that nice slide and roll gliding mechanism and you can jam the back. So be careful of that. Don't go so far that you jam the back. Now, if you can get to that point, maybe even roll it out a little bit and you're trying to sit your bum down on the inside of your ankle, okay? And then you can reach forward and really get some weight through it to try and stretch that out. I would only probably go for half a minute. Usually things are one to two minutes, but this one, it might be a bit acute. So just go for half a minute, rest it, half a minute, rest it, and then progress it to maybe minutes or two minutes as you get better, okay? Now, to progress along that, once you've got your plantar flexion, then you wanna work on a little bit more, we talked about this inversion movement. That's the movement you're gonna lose a little bit. Now, that can again get very scary. I know on my other ankle, which is fine now, but it used to be a real problem going into inversion because there's so much sort of scarred up tightness in there, and I had to really work hard on that over a period of months to get it better. So, what I like doing is a hip stretch called your pigeon pose, and you try and use it from here, and then push down very carefully. So you've got a bit of body weight, you've got a bit of leverage into this, okay? And you can wind that down and work on it and hold yourself up with your arm. So at this point here, I'm suspended. I can work on how much do I need to go into there. Now, as I get better, I can really drop down into that position. And this will also loosen up a bit of fascia, a bit of neural tissue around the side here, get that pattern of movement going. And then, once that's 
a bit better after a while, you can then start cranking into this part here. Start lifting up this point here and give you more and more and more inversion and then sit down on it. You'll feel this in your glute a lot, but this will really help you to try and stretch that out, even push it down, work around it, get stuck in it where all those little bits of tightnesses are. That's where you can start working on. Again, one or two minutes, get stuck into that and try and loosen it up. And that's going to help you, again, lots of this movement here, which is what you need when you're recovering that ankle. Okay, now let's work on some dorsiflexion. Okay, so the dorsiflexion, come on here. I've got a little trick for you to use with a band, which is sort of like what we do in physio, before you do your dorsiflexion stretch. So have a look at this. So, what you can use is a band like this, okay? So, if I put that around a pole, nice and low, okay? This is gonna act like the physio, if you like. I'm gonna put my foot in here. Okay, now this is gonna go around the back of my ankle because when you go into dorsiflexion, the tib and fib slide forward on the talus, okay, to get that movement. Now, after the ankle sprain, the whole capsule's tightened up, that movement gets restricted and you get jamming in the front. Have you ever had jamming in the front of your ankle where you go for and your ah, it hurts in the front? It might be due to the fact that it's got to the point and then it just jams, it hasn't got all that movement left. So, this is gonna help you. Now, with this one here, make sure that this is nice and solid, okay? This band is right behind the ankle, and this is just a, it's like a type of power band, it's nice and stretchy. I would move this back as far as you can go, so there's a big pressure on here, okay? And then what you're gonna do is just gently push that knee forward. What I like doing, though, is grabbing on and helping it through. Okay, so I'm going to go forward and push that through and then back off. So it's not a sustained stretch. This is a mobilization just like we do in physio. We do it the other way where we push the talus down. This is the best way you're going to be able to do it yourself in between those physio sessions to try and keep up that dorsiflexion glide movement. So again, weight down through your heel, come forward and then grab that and push it forward and you're going to lean on this knee and push that forward to get the range. Don't go into the pain and then back off. But you may find this band and that slide that you're doing, the extra little bit of glide takes the pain away. So it's a very good tool to try and get correct movement and stretch at the same time. All right, so just remember, weight through your heel, push forward, and then drag it forward with this band, a bit more, and then back off, okay? Awesome one to do. Now that's gonna free you up for the normal stretch, okay? And what you can do with a normal stretch is just work on a wall like this and get into here, foot on the wall, okay? Weight down through your heel, and then you'll find that movement is probably improved from just doing what I did then, okay? So you're gonna work a little bit on Achilles, but mostly you're gonna go for the ankle. Don't go into the pain zone in the front, just stay away from it. Wind it up until you're just about to get pain. Sit there, and that's your stretch, okay, for the ankle joint. All right, and that moves us into our last one. Well, the last one I wanna finish with is using a band. Now this is a bit of a hybrid between mobility and strength. So I like doing this one because if you've done all those other exercises and you're nice and loose, this is gonna be a really effective one to do. What I like doing is internal and external rotations with a band, okay? Now, this, you probably need to tighten up a bit. Grab a pole, it could be a pole, it could be your dining room table, anything like that. What you're doing is, you know, move this to the point where there's a bit of resistance. You're trying to keep your knee in one position, let your foot roll in, and then pull it out. Now before, if you're a bit stiff and you haven't done all your mobility, you'll struggle with this. So you're better to do all your mobility first, then work on this one, but don't let the knee roll like this. There's no point doing that, okay? Keep it so your knee stays still, your foot rolls in, and then when you pull out, you've got to try and keep that knee still as well. So you're just working on tissues here. Added benefit, you get a bit of strengthening going on. So this one's really nice, controlled, inversion, it's dragging you in, you're trying to relax the muscles and then you haul it outwards to get that movement. So 
If you've got an ankle sprain and you're having some trouble with your mobility, trying to get it going, give those six a shot. See you next time.